often struggle to find clothes to fit or struggle to balance your body proportions in your outfits, then today's video has got you covered. Whether you are petite or you're just looking to balance your proportions within your outfits, from how to define a waist, how to choose the right shoes, how to choose the right outerwear, I've got lots to share in today's video. So let's dive into the secrets of how you can dress for your unique body shape and balance your proportions a little bit more so that your outfits and your style look so much better. And for this video, I'm sharing a couple of basic outfits. So I've got a base outfit, maybe a top and a bottom together. And I'm gonna share how I would go about choosing the right shoes, outerwear, accessories to go with these outfits to ultimately make you look taller. That's kind of the overarching theme of today, especially when we're talking about petite dressing. But also this is great for someone who has maybe a shorter torso and wants to balance that out, or you have shorter legs and you wanna elongate those. Depending on what it is you wanna do with your own body proportion, I think everybody can take a little bit of something away from today's video. However, if you are petite, you'll be very happy to know that the sponsor of today's video is Petite Studio. I'm super excited to work with them because as someone who wouldn't necessarily class myself as petite, I'm 5'5", five five, I'm just on the cusp. So although I think I'm quite average height, I do sometimes struggle to find a pair of trousers that's not too long and I can wear with flats or something that doesn't have really long sleeves. Or with outerwear, sometimes I feel like they are almost too long on me and I end up wearing quite long styles. So I was really excited to try some pieces from Petite Studio. And I think this is a great opportunity to bring some of these body proportion tips to my channel as well. I have previously made a video about body proportions, which I can link up here, which kind of goes over lots of different body proportions and how you can identify what your body proportions or your body shape is. But for today, it's all about the style and inspo. Petite Studio is based in New York. It's founded by a husband and wife. So it's a brand I'm really happy to partner with. They've got so much information on their website to the factory that they work with. They only work with one factory in China from Jenny's hometown in China, which is really nice. They operate it in more of a slow fashion kind of way. So where it might take fast fashion brands like four hours on the production line to create something really quickly, it takes Petite Studio about 20 hours to make something, but it just means that there's a lot more craftsmanship gone into it, a lot more attention to detail, some of those hand sewn finishes. So the pieces that I have to share with you today are really, really beautifully finished. And I think they're pieces that are gonna last in my wardrobe for so many years. The first outfit I wanna talk through today, this is all about how to look taller. This is kind of our starting point. So I've paired this really nice roll neck, which is an absolutely gorgeous chocolatey brown color, with a really nice reddish undertone as well. And I've paired it with this faux leather mini skirt. Super excited about this. I don't know about you, if you are petite or just, you know, on the shorter side, you may get it. But when you buy a mini skirt and it's not mini enough, it kind of still just comes to that awkward above the knee length. This on me is a proper mini skirt and it feels super cute to wear. So I've also just paired this with tights because of the time of year. I paired it with a really nice sheer pair of tights. And I feel like the brown roll neck, the mini skirt, the tights, it kind of already is creating what seems like one kind of solid color palette, even though the tights are black, but they're very sheer. To just add a little bit of height, something that's realistic that I will reach for on a day-to-day -day basis, not an everyday basis, but still quite a comfortable shoe, is a little pointed toe kitten heel. So I'm adding a tiny bit of height to my outfits and I'm also adding a pointed shoe, which is just gonna elongate my legs even more. So it's kind of drawing that eye down and drawing it down even further into the point of the shoe. And for outerwear, I've gone with this cropped leather jacket. It's a really nice length. It actually hits, not at my natural waist, but just a little bit below it. But I find with jackets like this, a lot of the time they'll hit more on my hip and that's kind of drawing the eye to a wider point in my body and also making my legs look shorter and my torso look longer. So this has been a really, really nice fit. Not too cropped, doesn't look too kind of like a little bit naughty when it literally <laughs> jacket came to here. Not too cropped, not too long. It's kind of that perfect in between. It is an oversized fit as well. I actually sized up a little bit in this, but I'm glad I did because I think it'll be great for winter when I can layer big chunky jumpers underneath when I need that extra bit of warmth. And the really cool thing about this is that the collar is removable. So it's really nice when you wanna have that kind of more snuggly effect, or if you just want it to be a lot more like crisp and polished, you can take that off and you still have the really nice brown suede cuff on it. I just think this is a very cool piece and definitely adds a little bit more edge to my overall wardrobe. So for the next version of this outfit, I wanna show you how by choosing slightly different accessories, you may be kind of shortening your body a little bit more compared to what we just did and kind of lengthened it. 
So by adding a pair of ballet flats like this, they're a bit more of a rounded toe, so they don't have that elongating effect. And they also have this um, kind of Mary Jane strap across the foot, which kind of like cuts off your foot even further. So it's really shortening my legs by having this ankle strap and then a rounded toe. Same color shoe, so you would think it would have a similar effect in black kitten heel, black flat, but it just doesn't. Well, like this strap could look a little bit better, but I think those kind of straps just really shorten your feet. So if you're gonna go for something like that and you want a strap across it, maybe go for something that matches your skin tone a bit more. And then as much as I adore this jacket, this is really gorgeous. It's a reversible style from Petite Studio. So it has this really nice faux leather, brown faux leather on the inside, but it has this gorgeous faux fur on the outside and how snuggly does this look? However, with this outfit compared to the more cropped jacket, this is a lot more hip length. This is just going to kind of um, make your legs look shorter because obviously it's a longer piece. You can't see as much of the skirt anymore. And I think paired with the flats, it really kind of, yeah, it just kind of is shortening the legs a lot. So if I wanted to style this with a skirt, which I absolutely would, I think this top, this jacket and the skirt is a beautiful outfit, but I would probably add a knee high heeled boot to elongate the legs a bit more and to kind of add more length at the bottom so that I can balance this out because I'm definitely gonna wear that combination. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this coat for um, those shorter people, those petite people, but it's all about how you style it. So it could also be a case of just having something a bit more tonal with this. So maybe you wanna wear some kind of white or cream jeans or some trousers so they can get in that head to toe color and then you're gonna elongate the outfit further and your body further. Okay, the next base, I'm sticking with this top and I'm gonna go for this um, beautiful brown suede midi skirt, which I will not be able to show you properly on the screen but you will see it in the cutaways, of course. This I sized up and I'm a little bit sorry that I did because it is a little bit big fitting, but I think I can get away with it. And if I have to, I will alter it because it's such a beautiful skirt. The fabric is so incredibly soft. What I love about this is it really is that perfect midi length. It's like kind of maybe even the Daxi. It's, it's not so long that it's almost a maxi length, but it's not too short either that it's just hitting that below the knee point. So I really, really love the length on this. And I think for anyone, if you're a little bit shorter than me, if you're more like five foot, I think it would still work as a kind of mid axi length. And if you're a little bit taller, you could definitely get away with this as well. All depends on where you want your skirt to kind of sit on your calf. And again, to elongate this further, I'm gonna add a knee high boot. So the same knee high boot from the outfit we just saw. And having a boot that sits under the skirt is really elongating again. So it's just gonna mean that the outfit looks a little bit more streamlined. If I had a brown boot, I would absolutely love to style this outfit with a brown boot, but I don't. And at the moment, I kind of don't wear these enough to justify another heeled boot. So this is what I'm working with. Again, I just went for this cropped leather jacket style because I just think the length again looks really great and it really shows off more of the skirt instead of hiding too much of it. So you're really just kind of hitting at that kind of low waist point. I think this outfit is gonna be absolutely amazing to wear in autumn and winter. So I wanna again show you on the other hand how styling the skirt can sometimes make you look a little bit shorter. So for the base, I switched out the brown top and I put in a black top. So I'm kind of breaking up the outfit a little bit and kind of removing that tonal element that really elongates the body. So I've gone for a black roll neck and the brown skirt. And while I adore this color palette, it definitely does break up the body a little bit more. What helps here is that the skirt is high-waisted, so it's still drawing attention to your waist, it's still dividing your body up into that one-third, two-third kind of proportion, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, do check out that last body proportion video that I made, where I delve a little bit deeper into all of those body percentages and ratios. And then for the boot, I've gone for a black boot again, but this time it's more of an ankle boot. So you're kind of getting that little bit of a gap between the boot and the skirt. And I know I have tights on here and I think if I had bare legs, this would show up even more, but just having that gap again, it's just kind of breaking up the outfit. So you're kind of, you've got a black top and then you're breaking up with a brown skirt and then you've got a gap of skin and then you've got a black boot. Whereas the previous outfit just kind of was all brown and then went into the black boot and everything just looked a little bit more streamlined. And I think that's what makes it so, it just flows. And it elongates the body and again where the previous boots had a little bit more of a pointed toe 
This one has a bit more of a square toe, so it just doesn't elongate the legs as much as the other one. As I'm going through these pieces, there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of them. And if this is what you feel comfortable wearing, don't let me tell you what not to wear. But if you're looking for tips, which I assume you are if you're watching this video, then some of these might work. And if you have pieces in your wardrobe that you can try out, like a little kitten heel, like a pointed toe, like a longer boot under a, a skirt instead of a kind of ankle boot, just little things like that um, might make a huge difference to your outfits. To make this outfit even less proportional, I've thrown on a more oversized jacket. So where we had the cropped jacket before, I've thrown on this quilted bomber jacket, which is definitely more like a long hip length. Don't, I, I absolutely adore this jacket, I was wearing it today. So again, another piece that I absolutely love. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just how you style it. Don't worry, I will show you how to style an oversized jacket and not be completely drowned in it as well. But yeah, just love this style, it's so cool. Let me just try it on. It feels so cool. A li again, that little bit of edginess that I like to have in my outfits. It just feels very easy. I was really lacking in some casual outerwear. I have a lot of wool coats, not a lot, like a handful of wool coats. So they all seem very dressy. Whereas this just feels very cool, very like weekend, chill vibes. It's a little bit different for me, but that's kind of what I love about it. Okay, back to the tips. I'm going off topic. So like I mentioned, I struggle to get trousers that are that perfect length. But these trousers are definitely that perfect length for me. And if they weren't for you, they are adjustable, which I'll talk about in a minute. So these are just a really lovely pair of wool blend trousers. They're 50% wool. So they feel really warm, yet fully lined as well. So that is definitely going to keep me warm in this autumn and winter weather. And they also have a little bit of an elasticated back as well. So that allows for a little bit of breathing room. And a little bit of room if maybe you're the kind of person your weight fluctuates a little bit or not even your weight but just your waist if you bloat. I love also the pleats in them as well. Really nice detail and a really nice kind of herringbone pattern as you can see. Um, so style this up with a black roll neck which is probably exactly how I wear it. It also looks fab with this brown roll neck. If I wanted to wear this when I was filming but then I wouldn't have been able to take the trousers off to show you them. Um, but I think brown and grey is a really lovely colour palette. I shared a little bit of inspiration, autumn winter style inspiration on my Instagram yesterday that I found on Pinterest and there was this like brown and grey combination and it was absolutely beautiful. I'll pop it here actually so you can see it too. But yeah, really love that combination. But anyway, starting with the black roll neck, let's do it the other way around this time. Let's go for the less flattering outfit. So I've gone for a pair of cool boots. They're very cool and chunky but they are a rounded toe. So again, we've already talked about this, the rounded toe is not gonna be the most flattering, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. And to be honest, I would probably wear these with these trousers, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna compare it to something that would just elongate the legs a little bit further. So as you can see, with this kind of slightly more looser fitting roll neck, it's really lengthening the torso. So it's really drawing attention to that hip line, it's kind of widening the hips, and shortening the legs. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this outfit for a start is tuck in my roll neck. I will always tuck in a roll neck like this, especially over a pair of trousers that are a little bit looser because you're just gonna end up with a lot of bulk around your middle if there's any like pleating in the trousers. If you put a top over the, over the top of that, it's just gonna look bulky. So I'm gonna fully tuck in the roll neck. It's thin enough that I can just do a full tuck the whole way around. And I think the pleating and the nice kind of fit of the trousers, it is flattering enough around my stomach that I'll be comfortable with a fully tucked in. That's why I choose trousers with a little bit of pleating, so a little bit of extra room around the middle because that's kind of the shape that I like to wear and it's what I feel most comfortable in. I also always feel more comfortable in a fully high-waisted style. Again, this elongates my legs, doesn't shorten my torso because I think I have quite an average length torso, torso. but if I had a longer torso, high-waisted style would kind of help to shorten it a little bit or just to balance it out and really draw the eye to my natural waist as well. So now that I've tucked in my top, I'm gonna pop on my kitten heels. These are just gonna make the outfit look a lot more balanced. I think having a dainty shoe with these trousers is also gonna look more flattering than a super chunky boot on the bottom because you've already got the volume in the trousers. So it's nice to kind of have the volume in the trousers and then bring it back to being a little bit dainty and kind of looking a bit more polished and again that pointed toe it's just ever so slightly pointy but it's gonna it's gonna elongate the legs more 
And here is where I'm going to show you how you can wear an oversized jacket and still look you know, proportional and not look like it's completely taking over the whole outfit. And I think the best thing about this one is that it has these elasticated cuffs so you can kind of ruch up the sleeves and it will stay in place. So you're just going to show off a little bit of wrist. So if you want to wear big oversized jumpers, maybe you want to hide a bigger bust, not hide it, but you want to balance out a bigger bust or bigger shoulders, wider shoulders, anything at all in this kind of top half if you're trying to balance out by wearing something a bit looser or a bit more oversized. If you just pull up your sleeves, show off your wrists, maybe roll a cuff or something, you're drawing attention to that really, like those little narrow points of your body. And it's gonna kind of pay attention to those, especially if you wear some jewelry on them, you wear a bracelet, you wear a watch, you're drawing attention to those narrower points. And it's overall gonna make things look more balanced. So you've kind of got this oversized, top but then you're drawing the attention back in or you're drawing the eye back in. So I've ruched up the sleeves and I've kind of just worn it open so you can still see how long my legs are by the point at which my trousers hit my waist. If I zipped this up completely it would kind of ruin that so I'm keeping it open as much as possible if the weather allows for it and then you can still see that my legs are as long as they are because I've got high-waisted trousers on. I really love this look as well. If you saw my last video about creating contrast and friction in your outfits. This is a really cool way to do that as well because you've got this kind of like grungy, oversized, cool leather jacket and then you've got those really kind of dainty kitten heels, very feminine touch and it's a really nice mix. So kind of styling the trousers, what well, seemed quite classic, like a roll neck and trousers, but adding those kind of contrasting um, outerwear and shoes, it just kind of creates something really interesting. For the next look, I've also gone quite tonal but little different shades of grey. So we've got this beautiful applique style um, jumper, really gorgeous mohair, really soft, cozy. And it just has a really kind of subtle detail on the front, this little kind of stitched applique on it, which is a really nice detail. I think if you're not the kind of person who likes a lot of detail or print or anything, something like this just shows that it's slightly higher quality, more attention to detail, but it doesn't stand out too much. It's still quite, subtle like I said so really easy to style isn't gonna like draw the eye away from anything else in the outfit too much so I paired this with the grey trousers and I think this is a really nice what's great about this top actually because it's petite is that it's a great length it's not going to be too long on the body it's a really nice hip length jumper that if you needed to tuck it in you wouldn't have to tuck in too much of it and if you wanted to wear it loose you could as well and it's not going to be too long and you've also got the beautiful volume in the sleeves, which just kind of add a little bit of um, volume to your top half again. So if you were trying to balance out, maybe if your hips are sitting a little bit wider than your shoulders, and you want to balance out a, big, a slightly bigger bottom half, then adding a little bit of volume in the sleeves just adds a really nice bit of volume to balance that out. So for this outfit, I've added these chunky boots. Again, rounded toe, quite a chunky style. So you've kind of got this slightly oversized loose fitting jumper and then these wide leg trousers and then these chunky boots. So everything is a little bit big. So you're not really kind of drawing the eye in anywhere. So the first thing I want to do is tuck this jumper in, elongate the legs, highlight the waist, draw the eye up a little bit more and balance out those proportions, bringing it back to the one third, two third ratio. Once I've done that, I'm going to pull out the next pointed toe pair of shoes that I have which is these ankle boots. These are super cool. And anytime I wear them, I get confidence on them, which to be honest, I don't wear them enough, but they're a nice heel height that I can wear them day to day. So maybe I just need to challenge myself a bit more and not have them on my highest shelf where I never see them. Um, really cool lace up style. So this pointed to toe, it's quite an exaggerated pointed to toe. So this is definitely gonna be elongating. So it's great to wear under trousers, especially with an ankle boot because it's just gonna sit nicely under the trousers as well, not create any bulk. It also adds a little bit of edge, which I love. And then I think to finish this outfit off nicely, I am just gonna add my shorter crop jacket as well, because I think it'll just balance out this outfit a little bit better. And I think it's good in this instance to have that shorter jacket style. But for this look, I've also taken off the brown color because I think you probably didn't need the extra addition of brown in this outfit when I've already got two shades of gray and then those kind of black accents. Like I mentioned already, Wearing something oversized can be really difficult when you're petite without looking like you're just drowning in fabric. Um, and this is a great example. So I want to share this beautiful 
kind of heavier um, denim shirt. It's kind of a shirt, almost a jacket, somewhere in between probably. And it has this really beautiful embroidery. I've seen this on a couple of other um, YouTubers and I think it just looks beautiful. So apart from the fact that I do love a shirt in the summer and I'm kind of experimenting a little bit now with wearing it in this, in this kind of autumn winter time of year, this, like a shirt is part of my style uniform all summer long. And I would just like to be able to introduce that into this season. So I really want to try this out. But I think, so I've paired it with the grey trousers. But as you can see, when the shirt is just completely buttoned up, as you might think, a button up shirt needs to be just buttoned up and that's how you wear it. It just, again, it's cutting the body half and half and there's no real um, balance going on here. So what I would either do is pop a roll neck underneath. It doesn't have to be a roll neck, it could just be like a top, a long sleeve top. This time of year, a cream roll neck is gonna be one of my most worn pieces. And I also love that layering aspect as well for this time of year. So, and I'm just gonna wear the shirt as a jacket, almost like as a blazer or a cardigan, just wear it open. So I'm getting that shirt style into my outfit without losing the whole shape of my body underneath. That's a really nice way to wear it. The next thing I would do as well is just cuff the sleeve ever so slightly. So again, you're kind of showing the wrists and you're just creating a little bit more balance with the oversizedness of the shirt. If you do want to wear it as a button up, you can obviously fully tuck it in. I didn't actually try that with these, um, with this shirt. I thought it might be too bulky, these trousers, but then on their webs on the Petite Studio website, they have this styled with a roll neck underneath and tucked into these grey trousers and it looked amazing. So I don't know why I didn't try it. The other thing you can do though, is just do a little half tuck. So you kind of button it up, tuck in a little half of the shirt and leave the rest of it open. So you're getting that length in the legs, but you're kind of getting a little bit of that easiness and kind of effortlessness of a really casual denim shirt. And I know I mentioned not putting rounded toe shoes with outfits if you want to look taller, but it just feels natural for me to put my Converse with, these, with this outfit, especially just kind of styling the more casual denim shirt and trousers. I think it's fine. Like I said, I'm not telling anyone that you can or can't put certain shoes with certain things. It's just about having the awareness that if you put this shoe with something, you it might shorten your outfit a little bit. And if you put this shoe, you might look taller, depending on what you want. But to be honest, when I'm in my Converse and I'm just chill, I don't care how short or how tall I look. I just want to be comfortable. Okay, I hadn't even mentioned this shacket yet and I just adore it. This beautiful wool shacket, it's so nice. It's double faced, which means it's really cozy on the inside as well. It's the exact same finish as you have on the outside. So it's really, really nicely finished. It has these massive pockets. It also has pockets on the side. This was very handy. I went food shopping with no bag and I was able to like pop some potatoes into my pocket. Um, so really handy and I just love it. And I did size up in this as well. All the jackets I sized up to a medium, um, which I probably didn't need to. I was just worried because I'm not technically petite that some of the sleeves or something might be short on me, but they are not, they are perfect. Um, so it's probably just worth checking the size guide on the Petite Studio website. But it's really nicely done. Kind of you look at maybe your weight versus your height and they can recommend what size you should go for. And I think that's a really interesting way to do it instead of just being like, 8, 10, 12, whatever, you know, those kind of numbers. Um, this, I think, looked great, styled over the roll neck and trousers as well with the Converse. Very, very cool look. So I mentioned that these trousers can be adjusted, the length. So they have these little tabs on the side that you can roll up the trousers and button them into place. Or if you have them on, you wouldn't really notice. You just have kind of two buttons either side, but you wouldn't really notice them on. So you can probably roll them up on the outside, which I think looks a little bit more casual. Or if you are really kind of, maybe if you do it before you put them on, you could roll the trousers up onto the inside and then button them. And that would probably give you a bit of a cleaner look. So I just thought I would show you that option as well. Like I mentioned, I am five foot five and these are the perfect length on me. So if you're a little bit shorter, you may need that kind of adjustable, like that's how much they're able to adjust by. Also, it could be like you want them long to wear with heels, but you want them, sh you know, shorter to wear with flats. Um, or it's nice to be able to find that nice ankle grazer length as well. If you do know how to sew, you can obviously easily hem things or use some like iron-on hemming tape. I find that brilliant when you can't get that perfect length because everything just comes up a little bit too long on you. So I wanted to come back to this outfit that I mentioned I wanted to style 
the mini skirt with the more oversized jackets. And I think this can look really cool when it's really intentional. It's more when it's kind of unintentional and when the jackets just kind of like swamp your outfits that they can look a bit too big. There's a difference between being too big and then being oversized, like intentionally oversized. I popped on the cream roll neck this time just to show a point of difference. Like I'm not using that tonal element and not using like the brown top with the brown skirt to make it look longer but it still works really well together but then I'm starting the brown jacket over the top so pairing the same colours is kind of giving it a bit of harmony anyway and then I kept my tights on because normally I will do videos like this and I will just like not add tights and I'll be like you know you add them in later but I wanted to show that the outfit still looked nice with some tights on so it is a bit more of a realistic outfit for me and then I went and I added those chunky boots that I had in one of the earlier outfits, which look really cool with this look. So while they may have been a little bit too heavy for the other outfits that I did, they look really cool here because they kind of balance out the more oversized jacket. So you've kind of got this oversized jacket on top and then you've got like your little mini skirt, which just pokes out under the jacket, which I think is quite a nice look. And I've pinned so many outfits like this on Pinterest lately. So I'm definitely taking inspiration from that. And you've got these little legs and then you've got the kind of chunky boots to balance out the oversizedness of the jacket so it, it is giving it balance even though it's kind of gone against some of the elements that I spoke about earlier in the video you can always play around with these things and see what works for you and see what works for your wardrobe the best and also just see what outfits you like your body in the most or what you think look good on your body I tried the exact same outfit again with the oversized jacket that also looks really cool and I also tried it with the denim jacket as well. So this is just a really great base that I can style so many oversized jackets on top of because it's kind of fitted top, a little bit of a fitted skirt and it's mini. So you kind of like playing with those smaller fitted proportions and then throwing something oversized on top. And then it kind of brings it back to that element of friction and contrast that I spoke about as well before. Another great way to make an oversized jacket work is to make sure your base outfit is tonal. So I've gone for something to match my ivory roll neck to put on a pair of just cream jeans. These are actually jeans that used to be full length down to the ground, were too long on me. And I hemmed them to make them a little bit more of that ankle grazer style. Because like I said, I was struggling to find that perfect ankle grazer length that fit me. Where sometimes brands are catering to people who are like 5'7 and above. So it was great for me to just be able to like cut the ends off, sew it up, and then they were the perfect length basically made to measure. And you can just kind of see how when you have this kind of head to toe of one color, it is quite elongating. You can kind of get away with putting any jacket on top. Even if it is that more oversized hip length jacket, it doesn't have to shorten your body when you wear it. But again, one little detail is when you wear it open, you're still seeing that kind of line of the body, line of the tonal outfit. If I'm gonna close it up, it is gonna break that a little bit, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is that we're comfortable in our outfits, that we're warm at this time of the year and that we feel good and that we feel like we're dressing for our true selves. You haven't heard my analogy about being well-dressed. It's not about being well-dressed that you look well-dressed. It's about being well-dressed that just feels really good to you. And it's almost like using style as a wellness tool for yourself to feel better about yourself. I hope you enjoyed these outfits. I hope these tips have been helpful. And if you do want to check out any of the pieces I mentioned from Petite Studio, or any of their other items. They've got tons more on the website, loads to choose from. I will leave all their details below and they've kindly given me a discount code as well to share with all of you. So if you do wanna check something out, you can get a little discount on top. If you have enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you all soon.